Hi, welcome back guys. So before we can start doing the NGRX related stuff with setting up our Redux store and actions and reducers, the first step in any Angular application is to create your services and that's what we're going to do today. So let's see, uh, first thing I'm, at, I'm actually going to do is going to add a variable in our environments file, API server and this is going to be equal to http colon slash slash localhost at um what is the port that i put it on let's check really quick nest i did oh i spelled it wrong nest there we go that is on port 4,000, okay, cool. So 4,000, and in our production environment, we're, right now, we're just gonna put a placeholder of API server. Uh, but over here is where you're gonna put the, the actual URL of our production server. Um, so wherever that API ends up being deployed. And let's see. The next step is to actually create services, and we need um, uh, we need two services. So I'm just going to do ng generate service inside the services directory. I need auth, and I need API. And I'm going to do spec equals false. To not generate the test file, so just get rid of this really quick. And this one, because uh, I'm not gonna do um, unit tests in this tutorial, but we will get to it eventually. So, uh, let's see, before we cre create our service, we need to import something in our app module. So what we need is the HTTP client module, which is not auto importing for some reason. So let's just do it manually. Angular slash common slash HTTP. And there we go. And that will allow our services to use the HTTP client, which we're going to inject right here. So private HTTP client from Angular. All right. So in our auth service, um, this is how I'm going to do it. We're just going to create a getter and setter for the token. And this is going to return local storage dot get item. And let's see, what did I call this? Um, I called it I, oops, idea token. And then the set token, which takes in a value of type string. Uh, actually, setter doesn't return anything, so um local storage dot set item idea token val uh, we also want to reset the token if if an undefined thing happens so um I think I just put it in an if statement so I'll just do that if val Else local storage dot clear. Um, da -da 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 is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> that's right. All right, and then finally, um, we need the private API is type string and this is going to be our API URL 
and it's going to be environment dot api server plus slash auth and is my thing still up? No, it's not. Okay, so I edited um the actual server so that the auth endpoints in here are prefixed with auth, whereas <coughs> the data endpoints are prefixed with API. Um, just so it makes more sense to have two separate servers to do this. And then finally, we just need a we need a login and a register a register <coughs> function or method but since I want to um, make a something a little more generic I created a private method called auth that takes in two parameters the auth type and was it auth type and the auth data? So the data. Return this dot http dot post to this dot api. Oops. Let's put that into a template string really quick. This dot api slash um auth type and providing the data. So login just does login and register just takes the data and returns this dot off um, where this one is gonna be login and this is gonna be register. All right. And personally, I like to have a little bit of type safety. So that's where you would create a models directory. So source app uh, models models touch source app models auth.ts. And this is where you could just do an export. Um, is auth the type? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. login or register this is going to be auth type actually so we could do this and then the data is the auth data transfer object so export which is going to be an interface or class if you like but I personally don't think it's quite necessary to do that and this is gonna be a username a type string and password a type string and here here and here we're gonna cast it as auth DTO and import it. So we import it at the top like this and I'm gonna separate our imports from our from angular imports and then we're gonna do uh, pretty much the same thing for our API service. So we want to inject the HTTP client HTTP client from angular and I'm gonna do or we have a private variable called API and this is going to be environment dot API server plus slash API okay and then finally I'm going to do a private method for request so that we could have a pretty generic way of sending data it's more of a helper method if you really think about it. But it's gonna take in the method, which is gonna be a string, the endpoint, which is gonna be a string, and the body. Um, optionally take it in. 
And that's going to be anything, since you can provide anything to the JSON body. And this, we're going to return this.http dot request and let me see if I remember this um, the first thing it wants is the method uh, then the URL and uh, let's see and then the body is inside of an object so body with headers and Heather, headers is going to have authorization with bear and this dot auth dot token, which we also need to inject auth our auth service here to get that token, and we're going to construct the URL here. Like this dot API plus um I'm actually gonna use the template string. This dot API slash endpoint like so. And all we have to do is reuse um this helper function for each getter that we're going to create. So the first one's going to be get users, um, which if I remember correctly, takes in a page optionally. That's a string, and it will do return this dot request. Um, what's the method is going to be get. Um, do, 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 and the endpoint is gonna be dependent on the page. So endpoint equals to page. If it exists, then it'll be um, what's this? Endpoint is gonna have slash. So users uh, question mark page equals to page or it's just gonna be users and we can send in the endpoint here and then we're just gonna rinse and repeat with all the methods so I'm not gonna make you sit through me writing it all since it's all gonna be pretty similar um, if there's an optional uh, param we're gonna use this if not, we're just going to send in the endpoint like so. And if we need to send in data, we'll use the third argument for data. So I'm going to do a cut right here, and then I'm going to just fill it out and go through them uh, momentarily. So once. OK, so I created um, a method for each of our endpoints. So first, let's quickly review why I did the headers this way. Um, so even if there is no uh, token, <clears throat> it's only going to check if, if there is a token. And uh, so this should be OK. Um, I also added <coughs> type safety to all of these methods. So observable is a, the return type. And let's see. So, this is each of our endpoints, so we get users, which takes care of the page, or which cares about the page, I mean. Uh, get a specific user by the username. Um, doo -doo -doo. We get the ideas, which also cares about the page. We get newest ideas, which is ideas slash newest. Uh, the exact, the, was this, the read route, to so get the a specific idea by the ID, create using a idea data transfer object, which I created the types over here. Um, so for some, some type safety, um, you can indeed uh, copy and paste this from the Nest.js 
um, API that we created. Uh, so idea return type is observable of an idea, and we have the CRUD routes, create, update, and delete. And we have upvote and downvote, as well as bookmarks, which in hindsight returns a user instead of an idea, which I'm starting to regret, but I, I don't feel like changing it now. And then, of course, we have the comments. So comments by idea, by user, the a specific comment, create and delete. So quite a bit of endpoints, but of course, all of them just reuse the the private method that we created of request. And uh, yeah, and then also for our auth, I I added the the return types to all of these. And um, yeah, so not super interesting. It's just normal Angular stuff. You're setting up the services first, and then models if you care about type safety. And then finally. In our app module, we need to add um, the services that we created to the providers. And that's going to be right here. So, what do I call it? Auth service, service, and the API service. And I'm going to change both of these to add app. And yeah. I'll, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so one last thing. Um, in our auth service, I forgot to m mention, um, I added this method, the who am I method, to see if the user is already logged in when the application starts. And to check who they are, uh, this ideally is the first request that is sent from our application. So pretty important, and I kind of forgot to mention it, so I'm doing it now. So yeah, yeah, be sure to add this method. Okay.